video is to demonstrate the connections for the Byram single phase three wire meter. This meter is applicable to either 240 or 120 208 service. To access the wiring, remove the bottom cover. These are your voltage connections. Black for line one, white wire for neutral, and the red wire for line two. The black and the white wire are your CT connections for the CT included with the meter that have the black and white leads. Again, the red and white leads are connected directly to each other. The black lead with the two wires is a pulse lead. This can be connected to any external pulse counter. Here we show the meter mounted on a wall. First thing we do is connect your voltage leads together. Keep the red leads with the red. You can use a wire nut. Uh, the black voltage lead, these are the heavy leads. They'll be connected. And your neutral lead, be connected to the heavier white lead coming out of the meter. Those are your voltage connections. Your current connections are matched to the same color wires. Use a connector that will clip those two wires together. On this particular one, we use what they call a dolphin connector. Uh, you can use any connector that will hold those two wires together. Make sure that you get the white and the red wire coming out of the one hole with the white and red wire on a CT. And also the black wires. The black wires on the CT. So the wire from the meter and the corresponding white wire. Those would be the connections at the meter. Once the leads are connected at the meter, then go ahead into the breaker box. You have your black, your white, and your red wires. Your white being your neutral wire, which would go into your neutral block. Then you can install your CTs. Be sure that the dots on the CT are facing the incoming power and replace the top bar. Again, observing the polarity of the CTs, the red CT goes with the red incoming power, which matches your red voltage. Black line CT goes with the black line. Again, the dots are toward the incoming power. To make sure that the bar with the dot matches the bottom portion. Insert the wire into your breaker, tighten it down. Obviously, be aware that that's line two, and then your line one go on your line one breaker. You also notice on a live box, definitely want to wear safety gloves. And then turn the power on to the meter. Observe the meter. The LCD will show all of the segments in the first power up. You will then start scrolling through the, the sequence. Uh, as there is power flowing through the cables, you will see a small arrow pointing to the right. That arrow will indicate that the CTs and the voltages are connected correctly. 